seen this guy's videos in such a while. It's been a, a quite a, a quite a hot minute since I've seen the Talador video. So let's uh let's get going with it. When you hear this word, a terrifying rise of VTuber graduations. By the way, we've been seeing a lot. We've been seeing a lot of VTubers graduate this year, and a lot of them just go to V Shoujo do their own thing. So I wonder, like, I want to hear what his takes are. Ceremony awarding a student's hard work and education with a diploma or degree. <laughs> One of the top Kanye albums before he went off the deep end. I am Adolf. Or for idol Jesus. and YouTuber fans. Yeah, Kanye popped no, off. No, no, no. When a talent leaves or retires from an established VTuber agency or brand. This graduation is a scarce practice, yet a bittersweet period to celebrate someone's legacy before sending these fellows off with a hearty farewell. I'ma be honest, I always thought the graduation, the wording of it, and the whole entitlement through through it is the most depressing thing ever. I had this, uh, the graduating, it sounds so sad. It sounds so but sad. There's been something I've been noticing recently. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's, it's enough. A lot of them are leaving. Uh, there's many, re okay, so there, there, there's a lot of reason for it. A lot of people just don't, uh, I, I don't know. They found new things they want to do in life. At least uh, I think that's what Uni did. Uh, I think Uni just found some new things she want to do in life. Uh, but a lot of people are leaving corporations to join another corpo or like to go indie because in the end of the day they're just not treated well enough slices recently there's been a terrifying rise of vtuber graduations to the point that i've made a running gag on twitter about every single one why are so many vtubers graduating at a greater magnitude than before what's the because it's, uh, there's, they have already reached the fame. They all reached the spot they need to they have the audience and the audience will uh, transition to another place uh, they are treated poorly, poor management, the rep of a company can be poor, and generally they'll just feel like they will have more freedom to do and choices and more time for themselves if they move and go in there or go somewhere else. And just maybe they're also, maybe they had another opportunity that just hits better. Source, what do we infer from them? Y'all know I got the sauce. So let's find out together. Let's talk about it. Hey, yo, it's Toledo. That fallen angel kicked out of heaven. Get some snacks, get some water, get black text on a white background. Thank let's God. Go on the video. I know, I know you like my style. Gritty, looking Man, it's been a while since we watched this guy's videos. So what exactly is the process behind a VTuber graduation? And into person A again. Person A works at a VTuber company or agency as a VTuber. However, Person A may see it difficult to continue their operations as a creator there for reasons we'll get into. There's a lot of restrictions and they will always have somebody breathing down your neck if you do something. Thus, Person A sends in a graduation notice to management, similarly to what employed people call a two-week notice. Some of y'all may have no experience with it. At that point, managers, contractors, select friends, basically everyone but the fans know you finna leave the brand soon. And depending on the company and contract, this can last for weeks to several months. It's time to teach you a little lesson about how VTuber contracts work in the vaguest way possible. If a VTuber wants to leave, and as far as I can tell, it's like this basically everywhere, you can't just go. You can't just be like, okay, tomorrow I stop streaming. And they're like, what? There is what I want. It takes like maybe I've heard it takes around six to eight months to leave a VTuber company. There's a lot of paperwork. It takes a while. You're contracted for a period of time and you keep renewing your contract maybe a couple of years in the, uh, in the future. I don't know how long their contract goes, but it tends to take a while. If you want to cancel, if you want to graduate, it takes out, it takes quite a while. And often you might need, even need to pay the, the VTuber company. It depends what happens. We'll call the notice period. Let's say it's like 90 days because that feels like a business length of time. On day one, you hand in your notice. You're like, I would like to graduate in 90 days, please. And they go, cool. And then there's a 90 day notice period. Kira? But yeah, it's, it's basically just like a, a wrapping things up kind of period. Eventually though, after plans are finalized and contract period, to be then illegal. that notice period. Uh, you need to think about this is, uh, uh, most of these companies are Japanese. Yeah. Um, there's, uh, there's a lot of things that are, are difficult. It's difficult to quit a company in Jap Japan. Uh, people, you know what's interesting is that people actually hire people uh, to quit for them because the steps to quit a company or a working field in Japan is very complicated and a long inducing, like it's uh, it's work. Yeah, you know how you do in the States, you just go in and say, I'm done, I leave. Or maybe you have to say you quit and you have to work there for an entire month or two months more. In Japan... They will make you go, they will make you go through billions of steps. You need to sign a lot of things. You need to make a statement. You need to make a presentation. 
to say why you're leaving. You need to give reasoning. You can't just fuck off, which is really weird. So often people tend to hire someone to quit for them because there's so much work involved. Period ends and the VTubing group announces graduation, either through an announcement stream or the one that gives VTuber fans the most trauma. <laughs> A Twitter post with black text on a white background. You know, something like Damn. this. No, no. Make sure you saw graduation announcement out. All eyes are on that talent. VTuber fans shocked by the news. Friends and supporters wishing the final farewell. Speculators writing fan fictions and digging into all sorts of posts to find out the reasons behind why. Next is the final weeks of content. Big streams, final collabs, goodbye messages, and huge event until that final graduation stream hits. No, not Blanco. Super chats go crazy, everybody cries, and then the end. After that, the town is effectively retired, memberships go down, and VODs typically also go down, but recently it's been case by case. But at that point, that VTuber has become lost media. Can we not? In rare cases, some VTubers quote unquote graduate from a company but keep their brand as an independent streamer. Examples include VTubers that left V Shoujo. That's only V Shoujo though, and maybe Face Connect, but that's not gonna happen with any other thing that's outside of with the West. It, the, this will never happen with East at all. Like Silver Veil, Vey, and Yanners, or Cyberlife. Also, many of these join the. Examples and many of these, all of these three, had their own branding before V Shoujo. V Shoujo never made. Wait, you're a Vesa? That's awesome. Uh, uh, v Shoujo never made these avatars, these, uh, these models. These branding, like maybe Silver Bay's model were made during her, like the, the, the 2D one was made during being a part of the Shoujo, but all of them had their own designs and ideas before they joined the Shoujo. They were established streamers. The difference is that whenever you have join a company and they give you a new, a unique IP for that company, and then they, they, if you try to leave it then, that IP is still affiliated and tied to that company. This is a different case going on here with V Shoujo compared to other one. Because if you join Niji Sanji and you're a VTuber in past, they will give you an entirely new persona. They'll give you a new, entirely new uh, background, entirely new model. Everything will be new and it will be tied and connected to the company itself. Include VTubers that left V Shoujo, like Silver Veil. Often that is also because they kind of want to sell merch. They kind of want to own the IP. They want to own the IP. They are all everything being related to it. Bay and Yanners or Cyberlive and Project Etheria, which effectively shut down and all of their talents either went indie or joined another company like Face Connect and Prison Project. But yeah, graduation. We can name a lot of them over the industry. Here you Coco, Suzuhara Lulu, yeah, Sumosana, Nina Kosaka, Mr. Riaz. That's why I would never join a, a, a VTuber company. Like in the end of the day, it would be really smart to join an org because that's like really the easiest way to just jump up and get popularity is like literally an easy way ticket to join the Sanji and then dip in two years and then you have already you do you, you, you you've done well for yourself or even if after one year look at look at kuro and look at him but yeah um uh but uh, the thing is that it's just really sad to like do all of this work and then not even have anything of your own like it's all the tie all your progress all your ties are really within the company. Pick a me, Vesper and Magni. The list goes on. But compared I like to Vesper. He's years, very cool. He's chill. Years that is one guy I would love to know, by the way. Vesper, I would... Uh, I love his orc model. I would love to know Vesper. I, and the, the thing is that he's a big WoW player too, so I bet we would really come along well. ...have been completely hitting it out of the park. Imagine starting the first week of the year with Homu Rainpa graduating. What the hell is this? And Kyo Kanako, my go-to agency streamer, graduated Go, uh, the next Quinn. month. Why are you going so fast? Across the east side of Nijisanji, they had five or so graduation announcements. All live lost Achan. The the head of content ever since its roots. At the time, V Reverie lost seven of its eight Jesus. members all in the span of three to five months. Embarrassing. Idol Corp lost two members, Pochi Wanmaru and Yuko Yurei in very controversial graduations. V4 Mirai lost two members. Globy lost two members. Ian Project and Production Kawaii each lost a member. Agencies like Project Kawaii, Hey You, and First Stage Production all lost an entire generation of talents at once. Then some VTuber agencies just completely shut down down or went inactive, thus having VTubers graduate from the brand. Prism Project, My Hollow TV, Voice Ore, and Akio Air. 
There's also a lot of poaching in play. This is a business in the end of the day, so a lot of people tend to steal VTubers. Um, at the moment, this has become a business, actually, to steal VTubers from other orgs. It's, it's very interesting. But I was happy as here when, when I found that one I was there. They got cooked for the whole day. Back to graduation. Damn. One week had three graduation announcements. In only two days, Hex Haywire graduating from Neji Sanji EN, Idol Corp being completely acquired by Brave Group, and as such, five separate talents went indie, with another retiring their character. And Minato Aqua, THE Minato Aqua, just left Hall Alive. <laughs> This isn't even counting the large amount of hiatuses or content breaks, the endless amount of indie VTubers graduating, or groups that just disappear. MatPat, the first PNG tuber graduated! What are we going Putting MatPat the president there. President of the United States graduated! Damn! Black. Biden is gone. Cat break? That we needed that. Look at that little cat. Oh. Let's compare the graduation dilemma with typical influencers or content creators. Those personalities don't really have VTuber or idol-like events like debuts or graduations. They just sort of exist and come into fame they, they, through they, the algorithm and their hard work. But when a typical influencer or creator stops creating, you commonly don't see like a big announcement. What the announce fuck is this? When a typical influencer or creator stops What is this? creating you commonly don't see like a big announcement or farewell Something yeah i know it's corpse but i'm just like what the fuck is this is this like a massive filter on top of him or is this like a 2d what the fuck what is this like a big announcement or farewell some leave a final no day, he looks uncanny as fuck you know kind of no let's go ghost they just become more inactive or bro i remember this girl wonder what happened with her disappear without saying much of anything so there really isn't a confirmed end or future upload in sight oh she is yeah, sad story no videos anytime soon so vtubers getting sad the final story. say in their operations before moving on and effectively saying i had my fun but it's time to do some other shit it's a bit refreshing moreover the average lifespan of vtubers isn't what you think let's peer behind the curtains for a little bit hmm. vtubers have the same lifespan of a possum three to four years max Right? Possums live very short lives. So if you find one, please leave it alone. Like, let it do its own thing. But like, if you ever come into possession oh, of a possum, look at you, it. you treat it well because it, it's only there for a part of your life. Was it licking feet? What the fuck are, what was this? Why do you show this? For like, just a little blip, you know? But like, VTubers have the same amount of life lifespan as possums do. So seeing them still going strong a year after most possums pass away is like, Man. The fact that some VTubers Always have been based. around for Love that, man. six to seven years is utterly Stop, baffling. Stop, Sarah, so what the? let's really think about it. To me, graduation shouldn't be seen as, oh, the end of VTubing is here or a means of drama. But rather, it's a celebration of this person's legacy and next steps into what they got to do. Of course, it's case by case, but I'm talking like the graduations that don't have the controversy. Mm. It's a sad time, though, and people have all the right to all sorts of emotions to this type of stuff yeah don't cry because it's over cry because i'm cry because it's hap it hap it ha what was that it's like, from a from a legend graduation ultimately is pretty complicated that but is one depressing cake to be honest with you the russian the honey cake year, i've learned more delicious names of visually it looks weird on that bit. than vtuber clips or debuts where's everyone going Bingo. There is an upward trend of graduations. I'm not gonna lie to your face. Why the hell are so many VTubers graduating or leaving that brand? And why would one graduate in the first place? Many people. No, no feet cake. Calm who down. Work in online media. Ex Baldy. Experience issues outside the screen. And three fourths of these people even mentioned struggling with mental health issues like burnout, stress, and anxiety. So many factors end up leading to burnout for creators and. Doing this for a long time deteriorates you, and it's probably the most common reason content creators take steps away from the platforms, because a lot goes on behind the screen. And being a creator on top of other shit, jobs, and responsibilities you got is a lot more strenuous than you think. So of course, apply this to VTubers. Maybe you work so hard as a VTuber, but the loss in numbers and trends is making you lose track and get burnout. But there's something yeah, especially that makes unique sense. with the VTubing experience with burnout. A lot of viewers specifically see VTubers as a unique experience 
experience and an escape from reality. They're seen as characters. So you got to play up that character. Do I seem like a character, y'all? Am I am I a character? Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. I don't I think it uh, definitely feels um Yeah? No, you fluffer? Yes. No. Y'all doing a lot of yes and no's there. Yes, y'all not even answering. I don't even know what that was to answer. Do I seem or not? <laughs> uh, so I think that the the care. I think you can definitely see a lot. I think a lot of people VTuber do play character in one way or another. Uh, a lot of people do, but often uh, I think that most of the time you'll find characters whenever you go to corporations and not really actual indie VTubers. Indie VTubers might be more of an exaggeration of them. Exaggerate exaggeration of themselves but usually you will mostly find the characters whenever you go to corporations you try to not break the immersion with real life problems to keep we're not talking about a model but maybe when you turn on that stream sometimes it's like i'm a behavior and imagine being in a vtuber agency this comes with far more pressures and expectations on a corporate level so with that in mind health and personal situations contribute to a big rise in breaks and hiatuses what you been doing other than just working on stuff in whole life i'll be honest with you i've been a little burnt out I'm trying to get over that been on a break or if they lose gura it's over if they lose Gura, dude, there's there's a couple people at Hold Alive. I don't think it's uh, completely over without Gura, but that would be a big loss. Half a month since February for some mental reasons. Or I was just a bit tired of the internet, you know? And it might be one of many reasons for a VTuber's graduation. I need to stress that this subject is far more complicated than a mere statistic. There's a lot that goes on with this subject, even stuff that gets too personal for this channel. And to keep it real with y'all, I don't care enough to dig into these niggas personal shit we don't give a fuck we do not care just take care of yourself all right there's a common case in the workforce where someone leaves a job because it's simply impractical to balance it. It conflicts with your other activities or yeah. you simply can't keep up with everyone at the job. So yeah. with the VTubing industry, many VTubers are well aware that their character isn't forever. In fact, many have big life things outside of that specific VTuber. Dedicated jobs, college studies, future dreams, or other life opportunities. As such, some VTubers take breaks or hiatuses to deal with that situation, but others will graduate. Some may leave to focus on being idols. Others may get gigs and other industries like media and entertainment or maybe a vtuber is just dealing with too much shit and can't continue operating as a vtuber and again like the last reason it's a combination of things it's complicated however there's a special type of graduation some vtubers Ooh. graduate but months later you'll hear someone sound very familiar in a and this is why i've started not caring about graduations when it comes to corporations because i just assume they're gonna rebrand and come somewhere else and do their own thing or be in the I, I don't think whenever you see a Holo Live or Niji Sanji or any graduation, I don't. I just think they'll come back. Another VTuber agency. Like when I, any, everybody is crazy. That other VTuber to go because be like the last one I was sad about was Pick Me. That was the last graduation I was generally sad about. That wasn't. I. I mean, it, 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 to be honest, yeah. That's the only, that's the last one I was sad about. After that, I've been like, okay, I can see, I see the pattern. It's obvious what's going on now. VTuber at another brand. This dilemma especially arises when indie VTubers graduate. For example, say there was a VTuber that you followed. You even lurked in their streams. They graduated, and you know, it was disappointing seeing them go, but you wished them well. You likely expected that to be the end. Like you'd never hear the voice again. But, uh... Several oh, months well. Later. Hey, there we go, more. Who are these people? That, that's what I, You wanna know what can Jesus Christ. What the fuck, man? Uh th that's the sad part about uh like I I don't know, like at this point, like there's so many new ones. I'm just like, I don't really care. Like the new waves in all the com cor corpos, I just like stop paying attention. Uh like I don't really care anymore at this point. It's like the wave. I feel like there's a limit of adding new and removing and adding new and removing. I feel like at this point, like for me in my view, uh it's kind of uh, I I don't care about new talents coming in because it doesn't really I don't know. They've been adding so many new people for so many years now. It's just like it's it doesn't matter anymore. I, I have no ties to the company or anything like that. This is the most common reasons why many workers in the workforce quit their job. Hey, I don't know. Maybe an issue with the job. You realize, hey, 
being here is just doing more harm for me than good. Even if it's a huge opportunity that others wouldn't waste and I'd get a huge network of friends and connections, it's best for me to leave. In the VTubing industry, this issue may involve a direct complication with a VTubing agency, a community issue, or a huge ass controversy. <laughs> How can I? So some VTubers get the hell out of that environment. This reason is far more case by case. Perhaps you experienced a drama or controversy that got so bad you left the internet. Maybe you saw it impossible to grow a community there as a VTuber. Maybe you were having problems with the company, whatever those may be. Maybe you weren't given proper resources, support, or management by a VTuber agency. And when you tried to graduate, they charged you. Or maybe That is crazy. I saw that. That was fucking crazy. The, the fact that they tried to like take her money. That was insane. To you. Or maybe issues internal or external of this job got so it's bad that you did. This graduation reason is, expectedly, the one that you see the most drama around, especially for VTuber agencies. For a while now, countless agencies have been dealing with controversies, with even VTubers previously from the company citing issues or saying, Stand back. Yes. Stand back. Stand back. So for literally everyone's sake, fellas gotta get they shit together. Oh man, that's a bummer. My f this whole thing up. Okay. This, uh, fine. <laughs> what the fuck happened? When you hear this word, right. you might make it. Uh, where were we at? That's, thank you. Thank you, Firefox. I, I've lost track. That's amazing. So they're trying to shut it down. Safe. They're trying Those to take us down to shit. shit oh, man, they're trying to shut us down. They don't want us to up. talk about this. A lot of people in the workforce switch careers because a job just isn't for them. Perhaps it isn't a bad job per se. And maybe you have absolutely no beef with that. Silence the truth. Yeah. <laughs> managers, but being at that job position just conflicts with your interests, goals, and desires. So there's a difference in direction of what the company wants and what you want. And what many people in this industry of VTubing call creative differences. Many people forget that at the core VTubers are content creators. They're individuals with desires on how they wish to produce content for their fans. But while joining an agency gives you a platform and countless resources, it comes with far more expectations, cultural differences, corporate requirements, and restrictions on how you create and operate. Always having to factor in the corporate overlords and do the work. work, 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 work. Sometimes restrictions dampen what makes humans human. Creativity, enjoyment, making something out of what looks like nothing. So whatever the difference may no, be, self -built one. may see it best to graduate. Jacob, we have a Jacob, come back. Perhaps there are creative differences that require to leave a company. They've completed all their goals or exhausted all their plans as that brand and simply just need a new vibe. Or the vision of the company isn't what they personally desire. Again, that difference in direction. I'd argue that with a combination of other ones that happened before, this is the number one reason people graduate from VTuber agencies. Even with the clout and huge numbers, being an agency VTuber just isn't for them this doesn't work like they don't feel the free they don't feel like they can do what they want to do yeah that makes sense but for a lot of vtubers this isn't the end this dog is wait what the fuck Ooh, we're getting spicy on? who the fuck is a lot and Mint. i mean a lot who graduate from vtuber agencies commonly stay in the industry and return to their past lives or reincarnate as new vtuber identities instead of being corporate vtubers they become independent vtubers or they join the show Joe. Probably the show Joe. So here's Joe. a common debate you'll see in the industry. Would it be better for some of these VTubers to graduate and become indie VTubers, bringing over a dedicated audience and gaining entire creative control without worrying about corporate issues, or stay as an agency VTuber, reaping the support and resources that gives you, keeping the huge audience, and ultimately enjoying your job even if others out there don't like it? There are pros and cons to each dilemma. I will stress though that not every agency VTuber is from insert agency here. And I've always personally believe stuff like this to be case by case but let me know your thoughts in the comments below please be civil and not crash out in my comments I i'm begging you however i haven't answered the big question why are more vtubers graduating as of recently why is there a terrifying rise of vtuber graduations think of the word VTuber. VTubing became not just a weird niche medium, but its own industry with dedicated corporations and communities. What happens when some entertainment niche becomes a serious industry? The same problems that- Whenever it becomes mainstream, people are going to start looking more at profit. And there's going to be more issues. When you involve money, a lot of money, more and more money, people are going to be going crazy. 
other entertainment industries run into. You could cite so many problems with them, they would be immediately synonymous with VTubing. And do you know how long VTubing has been a thing? At the very least, when a bunch of agencies started hopping on it. So like 2018 or so. And the longer you're in a job occupation, the more you recognize issues with it, and the more you think, maybe this job ain't for me. So yeah, combine VTubing being an industry for so long, VTubing being an industry, so it has other problems, the VTubing niece no longer being trendy, and the graduation reasons mentioned before, connect the dots. But the subject of graduation can be emotional. It may be depressing to think that the VTubers that you gave your heart to would just disappear from your eyes. But I remember this quote from Botan during Aqua's graduation. For those end that, uh, those ends that ultimately come. An end without regrets is the best type of end. True. That's how I feel. Honestly, I might die tomorrow. What the? Same with you? What the? Whether you're a viewer or a VTuber, make sure you don't have any regrets. True. No regrets. Live your life the way you want to. No regrets. You might die tomorrow. But hey, so live the way you want to. Graduation for me in the future because I'll be graduating from college. Thank God. Congrats, dude. Fallen Angels, Happy for you. Also a student. I'll see myself out. Man, what the fuck is you what talking? True. Well, it's good to watch a Talador video again. It's been a while. It has sure been a while. It's been a while. I thought it was good. I thought that was great, y'all. I thought that was very good. I, I very much enjoyed that. How do y'all think? Yeah, I think that in the end of the day, I think that the trends are going and trends are shifting. I think there's an obvious way of uh, of shift of how to maintain a corporate uh, VTuber and generally how they transition into the future. You see more and more just leaving because like, honestly, what's the point of being there? They can earn more and do have more freedom somewhere else. So just dip out and see how it goes. A lot of people just don't like the way they were treated and how they feel being in a corporation. But yeah. That's pretty much it. If you like this video, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click the like button. Sub to the channel if you enjoyed this kind of video. And if you want to yet put us live and join us live, feel free to come by my Twitch channel on twitch.tv. I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye, bye.